Now, Obama, Obama at the end of the day is an ideologue. He has an ideological vision of the world. As an ideology, I think it's wrong. I think it's pathetic. I think it's weakened America. It's reduced our influence in the world. But poor man, he believes it. He thinks he's doing the world better. The Clintons are more like Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, these are two characters straight out of Mark Twain. They have been running rackets since the Arkansas days. And if we flash back even, just think about the last three months of the Clinton White House. What are they doing? They're collecting suitcases of cash, renting out the Lincoln bedroom. They're literally going through the White House with an aide, stealing stuff off the walls and out of the curio cabinets, taking Norman Rockwell paintings, put, taking them over to Chappaqua. The Secret Service had to go and get some of that stuff back. They had to return it forcibly. And they're selling pardons to big-time felons, racketeers, tax cheats, and criminals. There was, they're literally conducting an auction in which if you want a pardon for your serious crime, you just have to tell them how much you're willing to pay. To pay. And then we fast forward to Hillary as Secretary of State. And the plot thickens even further. Now... Just think about this. The Clintons have gone in personal net worth from zero to $300 million on a government salary. How do you do that? Books? Speeches? Well, actually, speeches do have something to do with it. Do you know that Bill Clinton's speaking fee quadrupled when Hillary became Secretary of State? Bill's speaking fee was kind of in the presidential league, which was about $150,000 a speech. That's a lot. But Bill's speaking fee went up into the $500,000 to $750,000 range for one speech for 20 minutes. And you know, Bill, you know the speech, pure rubbish. People aren't actually paying for the speech. What are they paying for? They're paying a bribe. They're making a down payment on something that the donor... And by the way, we're not talking about American donors. We're not even talking about Goldman Sachs. We're talking about the government of Saudi Arabia or the government of Qatar or a whole bunch of Indian billionaires who want Hillary Clinton to modify America's policy on the Indian nuclear deal. And so the Clintons come for speech making and they collect money. And then what happens? Step two, Hillary now changes the policy in line with what the giver wants. Step three, tens of millions of dollars flow into the Clinton Foundation. And this happens again and again and again. And the Clintons actually admit it. They admit step one, they admit step two, they admit step three. They merely deny that step one and three has anything to do with two. <laughs> we collected the money, we did the deed, we collected more money, but all this money had nothing to do with what we did. This is their defense. Now, you know, we've had, we've elected crooks in America before, but we didn't know they were crooks in advance. <laughs> with, with Hillary, we know. Um,